Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, this is uh, once again a little bit of a departure from what I usually do. Uh, this is sort of a uh, tribute video and I want to talk about uh, someone you probably already heard me mention a few times and that's Clara Bow. And I'm uh, not kidding when I say she's one of my favorite actresses ever. And I also consider her one of the most beautiful women ever. Um, I have I actually own some Clara Bow artifacts and I, I just wanted to uh, show them to you and talk a little bit about her and also talk a little bit about the uh, culture of um, urban legends and gossip and how people can have been destroyed for things that weren't true, things uh, for uh, false rumors being spread and I think Clara Bow was um, one of the people who was destroyed. Um, this is the first picture I ever saw of Clara Bow right here. Um, that's a picture of Clara Bow, and uh, she's having her, her makeup put on her by Max Factor, the famous makeup artist. And uh, there's actually, um, of course, a line of makeup named after him now. And that was the first picture I ever saw of her, and I thought she was really, really pretty. And that picture just kind of struck me. So, um, and I think after my wife, I, I, Clara Bow is probably the most beautiful woman I think I've ever seen. She's just gorgeous. So anyway, uh, going with that picture, I got interested in her and read about her and became a fan of hers. So uh, anyway, I want to show you some things I've collected. So, um, of course, you know I collect stamps. And here's a Clara Bow first day cover, uh, 1994. And this is a, a nice little stamp. You can get these from the post office. Okay, here's an actual postcard from the 1920s. And uh, this is a post picture postcard of her house in Beverly Hills. And it says, um, Residence of Clara Bow, Beverly Hills, California. And this is the actual postcard. It's never been used. And it's something I'm really proud to own. Okay, I got this. This is one of these uh, Tops uh, Famous People cards. And it's not old or anything, but it's just kind of neat because it, it is, it's like a baseball card, but it has like celebrities and stuff on it. And this has Clara Bow, actress, and it has little facts about her life, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, these are some tobacco cards that feature Clara Bow. These are from uh, Chilean cigarettes from the 1930s. Uh, um, these are the actual uh, cards, and they, these are actually enclosed with cigarettes, and um, people would collect them. And I actually have two here from Chile. Here's the back of them. And that's in, in Spanish. And here's another one from Germany. And look at that gold paint. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, and here's the back of that one. Okay. Um, this is a copy of Wings. And, uh, this was a uh, photo play edition of a of um, uh, the novelization of the popular movie Wings, an Academy Award winning movie. Um, and actually, I'm playing that movie right now. Let me show you. Uh, it's not very easy to get because um, it hasn't been put on DVD. So I got this from China, and uh, that's what you're listening to in the background. But anyway, um, this book is. Um, the inside cover. And there's a nice picture of um, Clara Bow and uh, Char uh, um, Charles Rogers, the stars of Wings. She plays a, an ambulance driver in the movie, and I think probably she's really, really gorgeous in this movie, more so than uh, her most popular movie, which is uh, It. So, um, and this was put out by Photoplay. They did novelizations of, of uh, movies at the time, so this is like the book of the movie. And as you can see, this is copyright 1927, and this is the real deal, the real book. And it has uh, great pictures from the movie. Some nice pictures. Actually, this scene right here um, just happened in the movie. Hold on. Let me rewind it. This is kind of neat to see. I'm rewinding right now in case you're wondering. Okay, here we go. 
right about here. So Claire is helping, uh, she's kind of like the girl next door, and she's helping him fix his hot rod up. And this is supposed to be right before World War I. And she's like the tomboy, which is interesting because in real life she was kind of a tomboy. And I want you to get a chance to see her in action, just to see how just beautiful she was. And it, as you can see, it does have Chinese subtitles as well. But, you know, there's no way I can get this movie. So, um... Anyway, I just think this is kind of cool just to see what she looks like. And, uh, it's funny how this book is kind of like now when they, when you see the paperback novelizations of movies. So, anyway, they're fixing the car up, almost an automobile. And there's the scene where they're looking it over. And that's why I just showed you. Same scene. I just thought that was really cool, and I'm really glad to own this book right here. Okay, I hope you found that kind of interesting. Now, I want to spend the rest of this video talking a little bit about her. Uh, she was born in 1905. Um, she was born into poverty. And uh, here's a a picture of her when she was a little girl and uh, she was a cute girl and um, she got out of her po poverty by winning a modeling contest and she slowly built up a career in the in the burgeoning movie industry uh, because of her good looks and her attitude or tomboyishness which just was charming to people and she won parts in great movies and uh, most notably, she starred in a movie called It, and uh, It was um, basically it was a term which meant this sort of uh, quality that made you attractive to both sexes and a, a, a sort of self-confidence and beauty and, and being interesting all together. And so she was called the It Girl. She was considered just uh, one of the most classy, fashionable people in Hollywood during the silent movie era. She dyed her hair with henna to make it uh, appear more red in the movies, although she was redheaded. Um, interestingly, a lot of people wonder if Betty Boop was based on Clara Bow, and in fact, uh, there is a color Betty Boop cartoon uh, called Betty Boop in Wonderland, and uh, where her head's red, where her hair is red, just like Clara Bow, so uh, it makes you uh, uh, definitely think that there is a Claire, the, the Betty Boop was based on Clara Bow, which I think is interesting. Now, um, when Talkies came out, which is uh, movies that had sound, um, Clara Bow's strong New York accent did not translate well. And her star faded really fast, which is really sad. So, uh, in addition to that, a lot of bad rumors were spread about her. Uh, they were pretty n nonsensical, but... Uh, Either way, um, rumors about her private life spread, and uh, it between that and talkies, she kind of had a nervous breakdown, and um, even though she married a famous Western actor, Rex Bell, she never really recovered, and she pretty much retired from acting in the mid-30s. Um, she died in the 1960s, and it's very hard to find a, a photograph of her after the 20s or 30s because she stayed out of the limelight. Unfortunately, uh, there was a book written, uh, and actually that book was written in uh, 1975. I'm not going to say the name of the book or the author, but and I uh, will say that it, it's loaded with um, false stories about Hollywood stars, and particularly has some terrible things said about her, um, and I'm not going to say them because I'm just too much of a gentleman, but they were patently false and almost if you think about them not even physically possible 
But um, actually, Clarabeau's sons attempted to sue this author. Um, and I don't know if it was settled out of court or not. But uh, either way, Clarabeau, I don't think she was the crazy, promiscuous pe person that she was made out to be. I think that she was a hardworking actress and uh, her career didn't last. It, it peaked very fast and it declined fast when um, movies had sound in them. So uh, I just wanted to uh, to hope that um, you, you might find some interest in silent movies after watching this and maybe you'll uh, take some time to uh, to watch some Clara Bow movies. I think um, she's just one of the most amazing actresses ever, and uh, silent movies are kind of an acquired taste, to be sure, but um, you might find that they're, a movie like Wings is actually quite thrilling to watch, and um, I, I think that, that uh, we're all missing out something if we, if we miss out on these movies, these great old movies. So anyway... Um, I, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this this review, and it's a little bit different. And uh, and if you if you have time, and if you're interested, definitely uh, watch some of her movies.